I have no idea. Well, I f***ed up already. <laughs> this was stupid. You're not going to tell me shit. I'm not really sure. Hello, and welcome to Auto Shenanigans. How the devil are you? I hope your day is treating you well. It is Monday the 12th of June 2023, and you join me somewhere in Chesterfield. I'm on my way to a random location in the Peak District in hunt of a box. But not just any box. This box has been hidden in an unknown location by the legend that is GeoWizard. He uploaded a video probably three hours ago, maybe a bit more, three and a half hours ago, in which we see him hiding this box containing a prize somewhere in the UK. The idea is, of course, is that using the clues in his video, we're supposed to find the box and claim the prize that is held within. It's actually a pretty decent prize. It's a £1,000 cash prize and a lifetime supply of beef jerky. So as I sat watching this video over my morning coffee, it piqued my curiosity and I thought, well, where would you have hidden this box, Mr. Geo Wizard? So I watched the video. I then watched the video a lot more. I watched it quite a few more times, in fact. Fast forward three, four hours, and I'm about 20 minutes away from where I think we're going to be best in a position to locate this box. If I don't find it, no big deal, really because I've had a great drive through the countryside. England is really nice, to be fair. When you ignore all the England bullshit, the scenery is very nice. Oh, that's a lovely view down there. Well, I fucked up already. My sat-nav's brought me to a completely different location. I suppose it was me that inputted the postcode and everything else, so it can only be my fault. But I'm not where I intended to be, so I shall look into that. Someone else will get there before me at this rate. Greetings, I have made it to where I think is our best starting point for this adventure and treasure hunt. So where am I exactly? I am here on this faded bit of map, so that's fucking useless. I am near Taddington, which you won't have heard of. It's near Bakewell, which a lot of you probably won't have heard of either. It's in Derbyshire. And the pathway I'm walking along now is where Geo Wizard's opening shots were, or some of them. I'll show you in a sec. It's surprisingly busy down here. I'm not really sure why that might be. So the first major clue that kind of gave away the general area was the pub that Geo Wizard showed at the end. So that's where I started looking on Google Maps. But then of course, if you look throughout the video, there's a lot of trees and a lot of hills. Now, when you do come and find this box, there will be a six, no, sorry, a three-digit code. Ah, yes, hello, editing John here. I left something out, so I need to fill you in. What you've just seen was one of the really important clues that kind of gave away where the location of the box was. It's a deliberate mistake in which Tom says A6. The A6 is, of course, one of the main roads to run through the area, and it led me to this car park and pathway. One of the first views that you get from the video is something along the lines of this turning here, and you see that wall and post up there. You only see them for a few frames in the video, but that's what led me to this pathway. And now that I'm here, this is definitely where he started out. It's funny though, because there are drones in the sky and there are other people walking around with cameras. So it wasn't just me who had nothing better to do. We all need to get jobs. From this point, I have no idea where we need to go or where we're heading. The plan, if you can call it that, is to piece together the bits I've seen in the video and we'll go from point to point. Hey, buddy. Hi there, looking for the box? Yeah, you're looking for the box too? Any, any clue? You're not going to tell me shit, even if you did know, right? Yeah, so at this point, my plan is to piece together the bits that we've seen in the video. Um, there are quite a few visual references and clues that are given away. The problem is, is you can't really see many of them on Google Maps. They're not obvious, but that's why I thought I'd come down in person and start walking around because it's probably going to be easier. In one of the shots of the video, we see a turn. Uh, I'll try and replicate it, hang on. The camera kind of goes a bit like this. And then up there like that. The oh, things that, well, be. I noticed was the sort of broken tree here. Uh, and also the direction of travel, because you can only really approach these paths in that way, meaning we must have come from the first path that we came from. So the next step, if you ask me, would be here. 
whilst we walk along looking for the other clues, I'll talk you through what a couple of them are. We saw a bird box, but there was also a rather falling. There was also a rather distinct tree stump arrangement. I think it's going to be the next thing that we find, if at all. I'm glad I bought extra water supplies though, it's freaking hot today. Don't worry, I've got the beanie on. I'm currently walking alongside the river, which is fine, but looking in the video, there's an awful lot of steep hills that clearly aren't flat next to a river. So at this point, I'm not sure I might be going wrong. No sign of our bird box or tree stump or anything like that. I see these building for the box. Yeah. Did you see the guys parked by the fence? Did they get it? Yeah. You know it's been found. Ah, oh, fair enough. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Hey, but never mind. Wasn't just me with the, uh, the free time on a Monday, it no, turns out. The... Call off the search. The jerky has been found. Congratulations to Johnny and Stuart. But the box has been recovered, apparently. Which is disappointing, but it was a nice day out nonetheless. I'll probably end up deleting all of the video and never releasing it, and it would all have been a spectacular waste of time. I think what we'll do, since we're here, is we'll try and find the location anyway. I'm not too worried about finding the box anymore if it's been recovered. I was going to give the thousand pounds to charity anyway, I was in it for the beef jerky. But yeah, we're going to try and find the location anyway, so we at least get a sense of satisfaction and whilst we didn't find the treasure itself, we at least played probably the greatest real live version of GeoGuessr that the nation has ever seen. It's just unfortunate it didn't last as long. Well, it's unfortunate that I didn't fucking win. That's the situation. It is bloody lovely though. I think really when you think about it, that was kind of half the point of Geo was his video, wasn't it really? To give people a sense of adventure, to get people off their asses and out into the countryside. Whilst it may have taken a bit of a financial incentive, it worked. There are many people out and about. Bingo, I think. That is the tree stump we see in the video. Hold on a minute. I think even Stevie Wonder can see that that's definitely not the same tree stump. I'm not really sure what I was thinking there. Let's carry on. So the question is, is where did we go from here? Well, at this moment in time, I'm not really sure. I think I've missed a turn somewhere because a lot of the visual clues or references seem to have dried up. And I've been walking a fair while. I don't imagine they went this far out with it. And I suppose if you're gonna hide something, maybe you would. Well, it's not going very well. I just bumped into some, some guys looking for the same thing. And they're just as lost and confused as I am at this point. Uh, they also haven't been able to find the bird box landmark. I still haven't found that either. I've now turned around, I'm heading back on myself. I think I've walked too far. But I'm starting to doubt myself, to be honest with you. As is always the case, confidence exceeds ability. Just behind me in these trees, I've spotted a flat rock face. I'm gonna go up and check it out. I don't think it's the end location, but it might be. I'm not gonna leave this stone unturned. I still haven't found the bird box. I'm still wandering around aimlessly trying to find that as well. The cliff wasn't what I thought it was. What it was, was just a massive faff for no reason. Well, I'm kind of stuck and defeated. I've run out of people to ask for clues. I can't find anything more on the internet. Can't find that bloody birdhouse. <sighs> so it's a fail. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go. You can tell I'm exhausted. Fucking hell, it's so hot. For some reason, I insist on wearing a stupid hat. It's a nice little stream. Anyway, I don't know, um, I declare it a fail. I'm going back to the car, probably to head home and get on with the work that I should have been doing rather than fucking around in the countryside. And then it rained. Sadly, an unsuccessful mission then, but what have we learned? Well, I think the bottom line here is that I just missed a few of the vital clues that were in GeoWizard's video. What those clues were, I have no idea, because I missed them.
It's also possible, and I have a sneaking suspicion that this is the case, there are probably a couple of diversions thrown into the video just to trip you up. Which probably worked. I have a feeling the birdhouse was irrelevant to our quest. Who knows? I'm sure there'll be a video released explaining everything in due course, and I look forward to that, and we can do some comparisons then and just see how much of a fuck up I made of this. But it wasn't a completely unsuccessful mission, was it? We've had some quality time together, we've had a lovely time out in the countryside, and we've participated in a very unique adventure. Thanks very much to GeoWizard for letting me use some of the footage in this video and of course for providing the backdrop for this unique adventure. And thank you very much to you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, there is of course a button specifically for that. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I hope I've earned your subscription. It was a bloody long day out, but if not, no worries about it. We'll see you next time, maybe. Until next time, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. This was stupid. Oh, fuck it out. I just threw all of that up. Uh.